So let's create a function for the update. And again, it's a function because it will return a Boolean whether the update succeeded or not. So it's going to be public function that I'll call update. And it will return a Boolean. And here we need to pass in all the data we want to update, which in this case is the name and phone. We don't want to update the customer ID, but we need to pass it in because this is the ID that will go into the update method. So we'll pass in a customer ID as short. Then we have the name as string and we have the phone number as string as well. And inside the function, we can simply call the adapter.update method. And here we have six overloads and the one we're going to use is either number five or six. So let's do the sixth one and notice that it asks for the customer ID the name, the phone, because these are the properties of the customer. And then it's asking for the original ID, original name and original phone. Remember up here, we created the original customer row and this is where we are going to use it because we need to pass in those data as well. So in order to do that, we of course need the original customer row. So about the update, I'm going to grab that row. So we'll go to our adapter and simply get everything. So we'll get the data for this customer. And we get it by going to our find customer ID or find by customer ID method and passing the customer ID. So this SQL statement will return the data for this customer with this ID. So this is our original customer. So now we can go to the update method and start inserting the data. So the first one is the customer ID. So that's our regular customer ID. Then we have the name. So these are the parameters from the function. Then we have the phone. And then we start inserting the original data that it's asking for. And it's coming from the original customer row. So it's going to be the original customer row dot customer ID. And then we have the original name coming from there. So it's original customer row dot name. And then we have the phone, so original customer row that phone. And what it does is it checks if the ID that we are passing into this function is the same as the original customer ID. Otherwise we would be messing with two different customers. Now, one thing I forgot to do is to actually wrap all this in a try catch because again, we are updating straight to the database. So let's use try catch and I'll cut this and paste it all in my try. And at the end, I'll simply return true because update was successful. And if there's an exception, just like before, we'll set the last error to an error message. And in this case, it can simply say failed to insert new customer and specify the reason. So just like before, we will concatenate the exception message to our own string. And if there's an exception, we will return false. So we have the insert and update. And the last thing we need to do is the delete 